to watch the full lecture of all subjects kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon because whenever i post the new videos you will get the immediate notifications hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this particular video let us solve one more problem which we, in which we have to calculate the cost of ppe and we have to find out the depreciation of the asset and also the carrying value of the I said the question is on the screen. Please take the screenshot of the question or at least pause the video and write down the question. It's better that you try to solve with me only so that you will understand it in a better way. On 1 4 2022, company acquired a machine for 9 lakh. So it purchased the machinery for 9 lakh rupees on which it pays 3000 rupees GST. So it is paying 3000 rupees GST, but it is for which company gets a credit. So, gets a credit means it is refundable. Gets a credit means company will get refund on that. So, GST more percent pay more than that. That is credit. Credit and then refund. So, we should not consider this GST. The company pays 60,000 technical fee. 25,000 installation fee and 5,000 towards connecting power to the machine. These are all the expenses. The operative loss is 9,000 rupees. As we all know that operating loss is not a direct attributable expenses. Operating loss is a loss which occurs after the machine starts running. So we should not consider that. Operative loss is not machine run the start loss. So, that is now direct attributable cost in the consider model. Find the cost of PPE. What is the depreciation if life of the asset is 5 years? So, in previous problem, this was not there. So, from this problem, we let us see how to calculate depreciation and even the carrying value of the asset. So, calculation of cost of PPE, it is according to the India is 16. So, in that first, we all know that we need to take purchase price. First, purchase price is now What is the purchase price? Purchase price is 9 lakh rupees. So, here we will write 9 lakh. Purchase price is now 9 lakh ke purchase. Maadiru. GST. GST, we should not consider because the company is getting a credit company is getting a credit means it is refundable in adding the cost of pp we should only consider non-refundable gst but this is a refundable gst so we should not consider next directly we need to add the direct attributable directly attributable expenses okay let us see one by one. The first one what they have given is 60,000 technical fee. So 60,000 they are paying towards technical fee. So that we have to write. Technical fee is 60,000 rupees. Then the company is paying 25,000 towards installation. Installation again 25,000 rupees. Installation charges. 25,000. Next, to connect the power, so 5,000 rupees they are utilizing, 5,000 rupees they are spending to connect the power. So, machine run out back on the power, so 5,000 rupees now, 5,000. Next, Pre-operative loss we should not consider because it is not at directly attributable expenses. So now when you add all these things, we will get the cost of PP. Cost of PP. Now let us add 9 lakh plus 60,000 plus 25,000 plus 5,000. You will get 9 lakh 90,000 rupees. So the cost of PP is 9 lakh 90,000 rupees. Step 2. What they have told? Calculation of depreciation. So this is a new step which we have not done so far. So depreciation he calculate marbeku. Depreciation a calculate marbekandre. One the formula. Hai. So to calculate depreciation, there is a formula. So the formula is 
cost of the asset minus residual value divided by life of the asset this is formula depreciation continue to be formula you know cost minus residual value divided by life we know cost of the asset cost of the pp is 9,90,000 minus have they given any residual value in the question? Question of the residual value on the other cotidara illa residual value on the cotilla. Haga gather zero on the navu consider martiri because resident in cotilla and the other than navu zero on the heli consider martiko divided by life of the asset they have given. So the asset, the life of the asset is five years on the heli there. So divided by five. इस माड़त्रे नम्गे, एन सिगुते, we get depreciation. What is depreciation? 9,90,000 minus 0 divided by 5. It is 1,98,000. 1,98,000 is for 1 year. 1 year के depreciation is to 1,98,000. 1 year के depreciation. Now, Next, they have asked us to find the carrying value as on 31st March 2023. Carrying value na kandidia kheedudare. So, here we write calculation of carrying value of asset as on 31st March 2023. Adhike, what is the formula means? Cost of PP minus Okay, cost of PP minus depreciation. Cost of PP get depreciation a minus madre namge carrying value of the asset sigate. So cost of PP is to cost of PP is one lakh ninety thousand. Cost of PP bandu sorry nine lakh ninety thousand. So depreciation is to will continue depreciation is. 198000 198000 adu minus so 990000 minus 1,98,000 will be 7 lakh 7 lakh 92000 this is the carrying value so, hope you have understood how to solve the problem. If you have understood, please practice it once again. And while practicing, if you get any doubt, please put your doubts in the comment box so that I will respond to your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I will come back with the next video. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.